begin with brand new stories and breaking news. I meant about women drivers. I was just teasing. I don't think I've ever ridden in a car with you, though. No. At Maybe least not when you were behind the wheel. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. That's <laughs> right. Hi, everybody. I'm Jenna Lee. And I'm John Scott. We begin with the tragic end for a troubled country star. Investigators say singer Mindy McCready died of an apparently self-inflicted gunshot wound at her home in Arkansas. Well, right now, two influential Republican senators out with some new comments about the president's pick to be the next defense secretary. Now the confirmation of the administration obviously not too happy with some of these comments and the process being held up. What is the administration saying about why it needs this new national security well, big team. business story today, Facebook hacked a series. Yes. Speaking of being online, uh, there's some new developments right now in the murder investigation involving Oscar Pistorius. Many and passwords and they're changing so much that you can't remember and then you're constantly yes. resetting them. That's <laughs> my problem. Right, right? Exactly. Then you're like, you can't write them down, you can't save them, someone's going to get it. I know. You need like the, the James Bond fingerprint thing for all of our stuff, like the banking and all of that, so mm -hmm. you don't have to remember anything. I like that idea. Okay, we'll get on it. In the meantime, the GOP is blasting the president's immigration plan, which was leaked over the weekend. Democrat only bill is going to go through, you know, but it's it, good that he's coming out with this, with this as a marker. So, Brent, in your opinion, then, is what you see here from the leak from the White House better than what we hear about the bipartisan plan that is slowly coming together and, for all intents and purposes, is on a path that looks like it could be successful? I wouldn't say it's necessarily better from the standpoint of getting the group in the Senate, the White House. You know, what are the stakes about where this policy comes from and what happens if it doesn't happen now? Well, it has to be the bipartisan group. That you know, on that point, as we finish up here, some say if we don't get anything done by the end, by August or so, the window will be missed because, believe it or not, 2014, an election year in the House. And then we're on a whole different cycle, as everybody knows, when elections start happening. Mercedes That's and Brent, right. uh, great to have your perspective Thanks. today. Thank, Thank you so you. much for the time. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, now we're going to move overseas. Peace in the Middle East is a slogan we've heard for decades, and as our new Secretary of State John Kerry takes office, we're hearing it again, specifically when it comes to finding a peace deal between Israel and the Palestinians. Why, but, despite the, uh, the chaos out there, do you see opportunity? Well, I think as part of the... Firing rockets into Israel. Israel is our lone democratic ally in the it, region, so it, that's the dynamic. Exactly. In terms of a terrorist organization. Well, I think... Turkey... Qatar, Egypt, supporting Hamas, a terrorist organization. In some ways, we see to, in a roundabout way, support Israel because Israel would benefit if Hamas wasn't firing rockets into their country. Well, I, th I think Palestinians and Israel. Hamas is important in, in the Palestinian territories. It can be viewed, if you will, as a political group in some in some cases, depending on who you talk to. How would Secretary Kerry, in this new position, have the opportunity to find common ground between these two groups where there's been no common ground for decades that well, you see how hopeful are you really i mean Seeing i think a contrarian I'm, point of view from what we've heard because it's much easier to think chaos upon chaos breeds more chaos but maybe maybe there's an opportunity daniel great to have you on set with us thank you very thank much thank you for that perspective john Eight. on your next hour senator john mccain turning the tables on meet the press host david gregory from burning up the track to wildfires raging out of control the fast well, coming up he was convicted in the deadly 1990s well it's a new political firestorm as we start off a new week there's always another one. You ready right? for a second hour? <laughs> got him. Got to go into the second hour. New political firestorm over immigration. The president working on a so-called secret re reform of his own, although it's not so secret now. No. Because it was leaked over the weekend. Welcome to a brand new hour of happening. Now we're glad you're with us on this President's Day. I'm Jenna Lee. I'm John Scott. The White House now claiming the president's plan. Convicted mastermind of the first World Trade Center bombing is now reportedly trying to use the U.S. legal system and is suing Julie Banderas Hill on a day that there is no sessions. We're getting some news uh, from Senator Mike Johans of Nebraska saying he will not seek re-election uh, coming up in 2014. He joined you the said Senator. Oh, did I? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, John. I'm glad someone's paying attention <laughs> he, because he, you, you might be the only one. <laughs> no. He's also the guy who, interestingly enough, replaced Chuck Hagel in the Senate. Of course, Chuck Hagel now the defense nominee. So um, interesting turn of events there. Republican uh, from Nebraska says he won't seek re-election. Open seat there. Well, justice delayed, but Very not. Like John Scott in the front <laughs> of that tabloid magazine. There's a lot of things out there they can pick. I mean, there's a lot of really? gossip out there. So not on John. John has no gossip about him at all. I'm boring. <laughs> Dad, there he is. Oh, poor John. Tad and Keisha, thank you so much. Interesting thank case. You. We'll see if they, they end up Thanks, giving up that information. Thanks, guys.
Thank you. Yeah, you got to lead a, an interesting life to be on the cover of the Right, magazine. and you, I mean, I just, mean, you know, it's totally boring. boring. <laughs> Not at all. Come on. But there's a lot they could choose from besides Surrey and Tom Cruise. So yeah. maybe they could make better choices. We'll maybe. I don't yeah. know. There is a major health to well, a little American history now as we celebrate President's Day. Yes. The original reason last week, uh, this this holiday officially started in 1971 to give a day off to the nation's workers. So they wrapped everything in. President's Day, day off for workers. Here we are. Abe and George, us. good on you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. America Live starts right now.